Today's Dallas is us playing Battletech once again, and today we are up against Pew Pew. So, uh, we are running dual Centurion ALs, a Locust, and a Commando. So, it's just been a patch recently, but it's only to update uh, the lobby as far as I know. So, there's no balance changes just yet. So, hopefully, we're going to tank up a bit with our ALs, do a bit of sensor locking with probably the Commando. The Locust, not so much. Uh, the Locust is just there to maybe grab some stuff. But we'll see how we do. If he's a bit of a jumpy sort of fit, uh, then we're going to have a hard time locking things down. Pew Pew, I know he plays a lot, so... Yeah. I know people who generally play the game a lot tend to run the more mobile fits. So this might be a hard game to grab a hold of people here. We'll see how we do. We're going to push out for these trees. I find the stacks map normally forces you down this side. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. We're probably going to leave the ALs towards the front and keep the commandos uh, and the commando and the locust just towards the rear, just so we don't get them locked too early. We could probably do a bit of a sprint with the locust, maybe ping him. He, if he's pushing forward, he's going to be about here. If he's doing some sort of weird jumping thing, he might be up here. We'll see how we do. Hopefully the game is a bit more stable for multiplayer. I have been having some pretty big issues with uh, drops here. What is this? This is a fuck. What is this? A fire starter. Ugh. Alright. Not exactly what I wanted to see. If he's got arc light, we're going to have some issues. Uh, if not, we'll see how we go. The two ALs should hopefully be able to tank a fair bit. He might use this as a decoy. Just keep jumping and bracing and so on. Uh, I had someone else do that to me. Maybe it is Pew Pew who did that to me. I can't remember. Um, but someone else jumps this around and braces it so that it's nearly impossible to hit. Luckily, a fire starter runs kind of hot. So to keep jumping at max distance, it uh, takes a bit of work, right? We have no idea what else he has. I'd say he might have an arc light if he's pushed up this far. There's a long way to go. Uh, we'll see in a second, though. Uh, no arc light. Excellent. Good for us. Real good for us. So he has to kind of think about what he wants to do. Two lights. Two mediums, two lights, two mediums. So it looks like we are uh, pretty even here. Hopefully he doesn't reserve down. Uh. Waiting for the shot. Come on, people. If you're in a, ever in this sort of situation, you might as well move one mech. Like, there's no point in not. Even if I reserve after you move one mech, you're in exactly the same position as you were here, as you are here, uh, if you have to go first. So, uh, you don't really gain much from it. Man, that map thing is shoving me left, right, and center. He could pull this back um, and reset the movement here. Wow, there is some serious movement going on here. A Vindy from the side. Okay. Uh, he is moving up this map really quick. Real quick. Uh, Locus is locked here, so we're going to move him back. Because I don't particularly want him getting smushed. Although we could maybe look to do one of the Centurions. We'll probably just move the Locus out here. And brace him up, just to keep him healthy and safe. If he's got this, he might have... I'm hoping not a crazy Death Dome above fit. Um... Which is a possibility. We'll see how we... How things pan out. Probably the commando might move here and we might lock something here. This is probably jumped and braced. Uh, it seemed like it jumped in. This might be paradise if it did jump really far. Uh... I wonder if he's going to try and pin us down here and fire in some PPCs. Alright, looks like the fire starter is jiggling about. Is he going to lock with this? Alright, he is going to lock with that. 
So what we'll do is we'll probably go with, uh, who did he pick here? He picked Sumo. Up, it's pretty good for Sumo to get locked. Um, we could actually consider swinging Showboat around. We would be fairly exposed here. Hmm. Can't quite make that range, can we? Uh, not quite. Okay, so I guess we're going with Sumo then. Uh, we'll just move forward here. I'd say he's probably got no... Uh, he's probably got direct fire on something, but we'll move Sumo. We'll just brace up. He might have an Apex on, say, something like a Trebuchet, which will be a tad annoying, but we'll have to deal with that. Probably to these trees. Direct fire. Uh, he could take that hill, I guess. Move to here. Did we get... Is there somewhere where I can get evasion? Like, a lot of evasion? We can move here, I guess. And brace. That might be okay. We don't know where else everything goes. We'll take the two evasion, I guess. It's better than uh, an urban. Alright, so he's gonna have... Something fairly expensive. Then I'd say that's gonna be a trebuchet. It's probably an apex trebuchet. Judging by... Uh, Judging by the price tags here. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Is that a Centurion? That didn't feel like it enough. Yeah, it's a Centurion. Alright. Uh, he's spread out a fair bit. Fairly interesting. Uh, I think we... What has he done here? So it's only the Urban, right? Alright, so we'll sprint you up to get into position to probably start doing in that, uh, in the fire starter, I guess. I'll probably take a sprint too. We want to stay out of maybe a sensor range here. Just so that we're pretty okay with him having to guess at where some of our stuff is. And we'll see how we do. Uh, this can't fire at least. He could have another sensor locking. I'd probably have a sensor locking guy in the urban. Uh, surely you can't fire from there, right? No, he just jumped it. We gotta be careful. The urban does have a bit of range, uh, so it can do some stuff. Uh, I'll probably just move forward. Blockade probably doesn't want to be towards the front though, just because. Uh, he doesn't have a brace. So if he does get sent... Ah, uh, you know what? If we get sense locked, it's okay. We'll just go last with him, I guess. Uh, so we'll move up here. He could possibly jump this in and fire. But we'll see what the goer is. Uh, and she's got a fair bit before he gets in range to jump that. So now we're probably looking for things like the Locust to get a lock. Or... Even showboat here. Mm, that's Centurion. Yep, we're gonna go down to phase one here. Excellent. Excellent. So, he. Does he move the fire starter first? He does. Alright. Uh, that's a walk. It's not a big walk. He's got trees on that. He locks maybe one of these. Alright. I'm down for that. I wonder if the urban is a locker as well. We can move here. Three movement. How far can we get with Arclight? We probably want to go... Arclight probably wants to do this last. So that if she does get a lock here, she gets hit by less things. So we'll move up here. Lock this guy. Drop the rounds on him. And see how that works out for us. We've got four evasion. So we can probably get him down to... Zero evasion. He can get us down to two if this is a sensor locker. 
which it could be. Uh, Firestarter, I think, has more armor than a commando. We can, I guess, drop more rounds on him. Unless he gets this into a position where he can fire. What did he lock? He locked this, right? So he might be jumping this and firing. See what he does. He either locks again with this. Alright, he's just going to fire in. He's not even going to move from there. Okay. Uh, Arclight, buddy, you want to come forward? Hmm. This is a little scary. Because there's not a huge truckload of armor on these things. But uh, we'll come forward. We might take... Ugh, I suppose we'll be a small target. Still a little bit of a risk, though. No trees. If he locks us with this, we are going to have a bad day. Let's see how we do, though. So now we should be able to drop two sets of LRM-10s onto this. He can drop an LRM-10, maybe jump this into position to fire the AC. Unless this can lock, I would... If this could lock, I would jump this far enough forward to lock this and then fire my LRM-10s onto this. Nope. Doesn't look like it can. Might be paradise in here then. Might be paradise. Uh, Sumo, you're gonna go last, buddy. Because I want to do... In case this comes in at a weird angle, I'd prefer to do you last. And we'll start putting our own damage. So this should be threes. Bunch of threes. I'd love doing damage to that leg. Means less death than above here. I wonder if he's going to get this into a position to fire. Let's see in a sec. We do our damage him by, I guess, a little here. He didn't even move his urban. Alright. Alrighty. Uh, more damage to that leg, please, sir. Give me some more. What are we on? Uh, we didn't hit him at all. Okay. It's kind of unfortunate. At some point, you're probably going to want to move in. Because uh, I think I do out damage him. He wants to get this into somewhere where he can shoot it from, right? Or he wants to have a go at some of this stuff here. If he does that, we can maybe move one of these guys out of lock range. I'm surprised. You could have Mockingbird in this. Maybe. That's probably braced up. This is the only seems to be his only sense locker here. These probably are uh, braced up as well. He's just gonna move back over here. What are you locking? You're gonna lock a light? You're not even gonna lock a light. Uh interesting. Let me just reserve down here. He'll probably reserve in. This is probably braced. Uh, what we'll do is we'll probably go with showboat first. And we probably want to get as much evasion as we can get here while still locking. Uh, and make it pretty hard for him to get that urban forward. I mean, he'll have to jump a fair distance, right? Alright, and you go showboat. Lock this guy. He's going to be braced. Uh, but that's okay. We'll just ram some rounds into him. Maybe this can sense a lock. We'll see in a second. Because he's not going to want to do a round of nothing here. We'll wait for him. He's going to reserve down. Okay. So we can remove all the evasion off this again. Should be nice for us. He probably needs to start pushing forward to have some vision. I'd move the Centurion forward. I don't know if I would tank here. I mean, what are you hoping that I move this way? Seems like a little bit of a crazy plan. There's no way I'd want to run into that.
if anything moves here, we can maybe sense lock it if it doesn't move far enough and then drop rounds onto that. He's pulling his Centurion back. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess we just go for a uh, double sensor lock then. Don't want to go too far forward with this. We want to have Arc Light. Can we not have that sound? We want to have Arc Light where she can lock, but be as far back as possible. So we're probably okay here. Another bunch of rounds, another bunch of LRM10s. Shame we don't have Apex. Maybe I could have had Apex instead of Blockade here. Um, although I don't know how I feel about that. He's probably... Would you jump this forward and brace? You could maybe do that. Uh, if he does that, I'll move Sumo over this side and then move Blockade over here while we fire. Uh... Blockade's probably up first, just in case he wants to jump forward. Drop some more rounds. I'd like to hit him. No, I'd, I'd like to hit him from the front here. Uh, just to get some damage maybe on the legs again. Confirmed. It's always uh, helpful to just try and get damage. I mean, we don't really want to... Mm. We might be lucky. We might hit some of this torso here. Doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, did I hit that leg? I don't know. I don't think he did the urban. He's uh, he's probably done the urban, and now he's thinking about whether he wants to do the Vindy, right? I might move Sumo over here. Man, this fog looks crazy. Can't tell if it's my eyes or what, but it looks... Uh, look at this fog mess. Oop. Apparently we can't... How is it that I can zoom out? Other ways, but not. Alright, he's coming in with his full evasion. He's probably got vision here then. We'll just, uh... We'll just tank that up. And we'll probably just, uh... Do I want to get out of here? Hmm. He's on the rubble. He's probably looking for a death from above. Uh, which I particularly don't want. Would you put... Oh, I don't know. Actually, this has been sense locking, right? So this has got to be paradise here. Hmm. He could lock us and jump for a death dome above. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Probably just want to scoot this way a little. I would consider bracing here. I don't think he's got enough to... He's probably not going to want to jump in. So I think we should be fine to hit the trees and uh, give this guy a bit of stick. Just uh, make him worried about that. There we go. So the legs are pretty damaged on this. He's probably not looking to death them above with this. He's probably looking just to flamethrow things. Uh, if he wants to jump this in, we can probably brace before he does. It will cost us, obviously, some stuff here, but we should be okay. He might... Do you sensor lock this? If he sensor locks this, we'll probably... Ah, uh, we're going to reserve anyway. If he sensor locks this, we'll probably brace it. Uh, he's jumping and bracing with that. Ooh. Okay. I think he's looking for a death from above here. Uh, we'll reserve down. It'll be our start. We'll probably brace Sumo here. Back. We could stick Sumo here and make him come in a little bit more. Uh, he's probably not going to come in, actually. He's got a PPC. Could move out here somewhere. Would you jump here? Maybe. Rotate like this, I guess. I don't think this protects us from him. Could move down here. I still don't think that protects us from him. He might just jump there to fire on us, I guess. Uh, I guess we take the evasion, though. Move forward. We'll brace. 
Uh, I think he has to come... Hmm, I don't know if he can direct fire from there. He probably can. I don't think we've put ourselves in enough of a spot here. If he fires from there, we'll sense lock this and fire on it. We'll probably move blockade out to fire. And we should be okay with that. If I was him, I'd probably fire with the, uh, the Centurion, right? Fire in the rockets. Remove the evasion. Move this and fire. Hmm. That's probably a brace, I'd say. Oh, actually it's not. Alright, that's on the road. We could probably get some... Shots in on that. Can I just scoot forward and tell me what it looks like? I read you, Commander. Might be able to get... I don't think I can quite shoot down here. Hopefully Blockade's got enough movement for this. Down to one. It's going to be pretty close. I think we lock with the Locust. And then see if we can't get you out of these trees and fire. I wonder if he jumps with this down to here and fires the AC. We're bleeding off armor here and there. We've bled off some armor on this. It's not... I'd rather be doing it to bigger mechs. The urban... I don't know. It's all a bit of poke and prod at the moment. See how things go. Here comes the LRM-10s. Alright. Luckily this is an Apex because this would be... A disaster if it was. Can you tell me? Oh, you can. You can. Excellent. Uh. Yeah. So we'll move you here. We'll shred off the evasion on this guy. The only thing I'm afraid of is I'd probably like to have. Uh, I'd probably like to have blockade in the trees, which I don't think I can quite make. I don't think the trees can shoot down here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, from here. What do we get? Get a large laser and the LRMs. Yeah, I'm down for that. We still get to keep the trees. Are oh, you reserved? Didn't even see that. Oh, well, it's fine. Copy that. Hopefully we hit with that laser. It's into... Is that the PPC arm? It is the PPC arm. Excellent. Love me some damage on the PC, PC arm. He's probably going to jump this forward then to fire. I don't think he can jump that far in an urban though. Uh, if, unless he can get up on that hill, but that hill shouldn't give you firing, I don't think. Pretty happy with this here. It's not too bad. We are just poking those corners. God, it's like a game of uh, World of Tanks. Just poke the corners, right? And then hop behind. Poke the corner, hop behind. Surely you can't fire from there. Alright, he's jumping it back. Descent lock. Alright, still doesn't give him the first turn though. Poor old uh, Sumo here is doing pretty much nothing, but that's alright. Uh, does he jump and lock? Can if he wants. Can if you want. Mm -hmm. mm. What do we want to do? I think we just keep poking at these things as he comes out. Luckily, he's got a fair bit of direct fire on this Vindy, so he's going to have problems with that. Uh, no vision, that's fine. I'll probably move Sumo here. And just brace him again. Yeah. What can I do you and then let Arclight do the work. Uh, the Urban probably can't jump to do anything. But you know what? We might just leave you here, buddy. We'll just twist you a bit so you take a few more hits to that arm. No problem. Unfortunately, twisting gives away the fact that we moved this mech. But so be it. I'd probably, if I was him, I'd lock one of these maybe now, knowing that this can't do anything. And then 
I don't know. Maybe you assume that these have bulwark, I guess. Alright, he's bringing in his A. He's probably wanting to use that AC at some point. Uh, that's probably braced. I'd say most of these things are braced in here. I guess we just have a go at the A. Uh, he's moved everything that's long range. Oop, and something just exploded back there. I think we get a sensor lock with this. So we will happily just travel this way. Lock the A, fire in some missiles and be done fairly much. Alright, there's a brace. Now, maybe he comes forward with the fire starter. He's reserving. We're going to reserve. I'm not falling for that again. It's only because I didn't see it last time that uh, I didn't know what was going on. Holding for the right opportunity. Hmm. What do you do here? Jump the urban and the fire starter? I guess. He's walking the fire starter. Is he going to send lock with that? Nope. Alright, so that's braced. Uh, oh, that would be amazing if we could do that. Sadly, what is this? It's only LRM10s. Uh, it's still indirect, right? Uh, is there some trees where this is direct? The only problem with blockade is blockade has no bulwark here. I'm a little scared to put blockade like this. Is there a rotation onto the side? It's not, is there? Come around this way, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, we could probably do this. This is probably okay and I guess we just use the locust to lock whatever else put some damage on the A now at least we've been hitting him most of the time uh, it's not much though it's not much I mean we've probably done so he got what two turns of firing 15 and I've had about three turns of firing 20 so we're kind of Kind of evenish. I do have more armor on the ALs. Uh, the urban can't really do much from there. What do you need? And the locust can just sit tight in the middle. It's a bit of a slow game. I always find stacks a little bit slow because all these hills, you just you can't like pushing out of here is crazy, right? It's just absolutely crazy. He could maybe try for... I don't think you can get the urban there to fire. I might need to stick myself behind this hill a little. Just so that he can't lock this and then fire the urban into it. Uh, apparently we're reserving all the way down. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you just go with one mech and then it's your opponent's start. And then you don't have to do this whole reserve thing. But different people play different ways. I mean, maybe he thinks that if he goes, suddenly I might reserve. But if I reserve, then you just start reserving, and it's always my start. So, there is that. I haven't really been able to move out of my little corner. It cracks me up. So, these p you start on this side, and your corner is here. But if you start on this side, there is a mass load of map behind you, right? Mass load of map. Uh, let's make sure... He's not saying anything. He's only said, uh, where are you located? Hmm. What do you do? Uh, I would probably push in. Here we go. He's pushing in. Is he in the sensor lock? Nope. We could maybe do some damage to that. Yeah. Uh, let's 
not a sensible move though because that would just hammer us down completely you know what we're gonna do we're gonna be a pest here and we're gonna lock his centurion so he can't move it that far and then I think we're just gonna hammer that pretty sure most of the stuff can't get in range to get any vision so we should be fairly okay here And then we probably look to get a sense lock on maybe the urban. We'll see what else he moves. And then we can just uh, decide from there. So he either moves this and then we sense lock it again. He can't move and fire with this. Although he's not going to do that anyway. He has no targets. If I was him, I'd move this first. Just to build up some evasion. He's trying to jam it out of sensor range. Ah, what arm have you given me? You're giving me the AC arm. Alright, I'll take the AC arm. Uh, what kind of range do we need here? We need this kind of range. Uh, thing is, the locust really doesn't want to be that close to stuff, right? He might be able to get us with that. Which is a little annoying. We could probably just... Uh, two evasion, though. Is going to be a little painful. Yep. I just still want to shoot this though. Yep. This is just a move too far for me, I think. Because he could probably jump this in. Uh, he might be able to get that around and have vision. And then the locust is just going to collapse, right? So I think we'll go for a probably a lock on the fire starter as well. Just move to here and lock the fire starter. Just get this. For evasion. So our choices are either this or this. We'll probably put rounds into the centurion. This will be pretty hard to hit. Just got to keep our lights out of the way here. Whereas luckily he has to kind of force his lights in. The Vindicator is probably what scares me the most with uh, Paradise. I'd say this has got to be Paradise. Yeah, what can I do you for? Mm -hmm. Just don't want to get vision. Two shots into the arm here. It's pretty tempting. What we do is we rotate you, sir. We're going to have to move blockade back this way because I suspect we're about to get rumbled here. 25, 50. We'll take 50. Uh, at least it's into this arm, so... You know, it's a little bit of damage here and there. What did we get? Yeah, alright. Now do you jump this as far forward as you can? We will start moving these guys back this way. I'd say we're about to ball up and have a bit of a fight over here. This is probably going to jump maybe into the water and fire. We're going to have to... I don't like fighting around this. I'd prefer to fight on this hill if I could. Uh, so we'll bring you back around. Is there anywhere... Say trees? It's not even trees. What have you got to hit this guy? 40. Whereas, oh, there's the trees. Uh, 60. I'll take 60. Take 60 indeed. Just like so. Plus, we get some evasion. Plus, we get trees. Plus, we're coming in to cover this guy. Sumo is going to need to tank. Tank away. Alright, 60. So, how much did we hit that for? Two. Ugh, four. Alright, well we've hit the Senator so a li little, we've hit the legs a little, can we... I'd like to do a bit more damage here at least, so that that AC is not a super weapon. Alright, bit of damage. Uh, we will have to shift our lights back around, he's probably going to jump this and brace it up here so he's got vision. Uh, and then, he then moves in with everything else, right? 
Uh, we'll need to swing around here. The Locust is going to do pretty much nothing, unfortunately. It does have some SRMs, but uh, if he looks at it funny, it will die. Which is the unfortunate thing. I don't, I don't know. I've spoken about this about five times in probably the last ten minutes, but... As soon as you learn how this works, you, you can work out that all you need to do is move one mech, and then it's always your opponent's turn if you're going first. If you get into something like this. So, is he going to jump here and brace? Uh, if he does that, I'll probably... See, the problem is, is if he jumps here, he'll have vision. I need to move probably sumo here, and then we can sense lock someone else here. And then fire in with probably blockade. But we'll definitely move sumo out, brace up. Uh, the Vindy might jump over here and give vision, I guess. Uh, I don't think he has vision from there. Probably not too worried about this. Probably more worried about this. So what we'll do is we'll move... Uh, probably move Showboat back. And lock this guy. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Showboat, please. Uh, and then if he jumps here, we can shred him down to... He'll have four evasion. We can shred him down to two. And then go from there, I guess. I'd probably like to keep you further back, but I don't think we can. Keep you out of this. Uh, plus, if we move, if we actually sense lock him now, we might be able to move and fire sumo instead. So he's now got to move this, right? I'd say he wants to jump here so that he can jump here and then jump like this uh, with the death from above. Or he might jump up here, I guess. He wants to be careful about where he gives me shots from. Uh, we can pull Sumo hopefully back. I don't know if we can get Sumo out of this situation. We might have to reverse and brace. Uh, the Urban doesn't have any vision. We'll probably fire with Block A. Uh, What's up, Commander? I think we go backwards here, although I'd like to rotate a little bit better than that. Mm, that's not the best rotation, is it? That's not the best rotation at all. Uh, we could... I think we do this. Maybe look to go on this guy. Hmm. I don't want that thing jumping on me, though. I think we pull back here. Drop some rounds on him. And gear up. I guess he's going to try and shoot us with the Vindy. Although, for this amount of damage, we're probably better off just bracing. Could have maybe have gone with blockade and then... Eh, tempted for this. I think we just brace. That way, if he jumps here, we're kind of good to go. He's probably going to move this now. So that he can fire this, maybe. You could jump here. It's all a bit forced. We might be able to get a lock here and fire some direct fire. I could have actually locked this with Arc Light and fired this way, I guess. Alright, I think we locked this with Arc Light. Yep. And we see how much damage we can do here. I mean, probably forget about the fire starter. Let's move. I'd say that... Oh, did he... He moved it, right? So... Should have probably four evasion. Whoa, that's a lot of evasion. Alright, I didn't think he jumped it. Damn, he's going to jump this now. So we're going to have to fire into this, I guess. Uh, Heat-wise, we're okay with that. Probably pull blockade here and fire. See where he goes with this uh, fire starter, I guess. 
We don't have a lot of mobility, so we're kind of stuck with these little moves. Uh, because without being able to jump, you don't get a lot of vision, right? I don't think he has any vision there. I'd say he's setting up to... Ooh. Alright. Uh, he gets to go first, so he could probably do some shenanigans here. Hmm. This would be devastating um, if I did that to myself, <laughs> uh, most likely, because we are probably not getting out of that alive. Uh, I think we swing this way like so, and fire on the trash can there. There's no point in firing at this. He might try and... Mm, I guess we just go like this, right? I prefer to be one back over here and fire in. We're going to miss with most of our shots on this, unfortunately. But uh, we'll at least do something. He might try and fire starter us. But hopefully... Hopefully not. Alright, at least we hit with uh, some weapons. Done a bit of damage. Uh, we're going to reserve. He can probably shoot this. Arclight's in the Locust anyway, but there's not much we can do about that. He might death them above us. Uh, which will be unfortunate. But uh, we've done a bit of damage to this guy's legs. So we do have that going for us at least. Showboat will take a truckload of damage though. The old fire starter. If he doesn't do this now, we're definitely moving out of the vision here. Uh, if he reserves in any way, we're just going to move and probably lock. I don't know, maybe... I don't know what we lock here. This guy needs to swing out of here, though. Just absolutely get out of there. He could maybe jump forward and go for... I don't know if he can see Arc Light. He's going to walk? Does he have vision on this then? He might have vision here. Uh, I think we hold our turn. And we'll see if he wants to... He might have vision for a death from above here. We're definitely going to go probably last with Sumo. Actually, let's have a look. He has no vision. Uh, he might try for this then. I'd say we just hammer down on this guy here. So we'll get you possibly a little bit further back, my friend. Block here. He's probably going to march in with the Vindy and have a shot. Uh, but we'll get you back a little. Uh, lock him. Lock him and load him. He's got to embrace that, right? But we should do a bit more damage to that. The more damage we do to this, at least it'll go down pretty quick if it gets into combat with us. The urban mech, unless he jumps up forward, is not too much of a threat here. He could go with uh, the Centurion. And then, uh, yeah, we definitely want to go last with Sumo. So we'll get a lock over here again with uh, Arc Light. Just want to keep some of this movement up. Hit a lock. Mm hmm. Like so. Hopefully, he doesn't jump this forward. Could get awkward. He could just destroy us. Go another lock. He now probably has the chance to do this. To jump this forward, maybe. And fire. We'll get to that awkward. He definitely... I don't think he can... Death, yeah, I don't think he's got vision here. Sumo's just going to plow into this. Uh, blockade will plow into this. At least we did, I guess, a little bit of damage here. He's cornering us pretty badly. Alright, now he's got vision here, though. We'll probably just back Sumo up then. Oof. 
because we don't particularly want... We'll check it out. I think we can move both. So, he has vision there, right? Yeah. Blockade. Uh -huh. I wish there was an indicator to know if this here was visible. Because at the moment, I don't... I suppose he shot this. If this was visible, he would have shot that. What's up, Commander? So I guess we just back up like this, fire into this guy, and then wait for the... Uh, so the Centurion can't get on top of us now. So we'll back you up. I probably will take this shot. Uh, maybe we can get some bits off this guy. We're doing, what, 20 damage? So, yeah, we're getting there. He'll push this forward as quick as he can. We'll do a bit more damage here. We're kind of exposed. We're going to just reserve here. If I was him... It's such a waste of time to do this reserve thing. I mean, clearly I'm not going to go, right? So, what are you hoping that your Centurion here can do? I mean, what would you hope for anyway? Would you hope that suddenly I decide to move Blockade forward? Hmm. We need more damage all round, really, before this gets into a decent position. Alright, that's probably AC range. So I think he's looking for a bit of a wind up on us. Probably move you here. Oh, damn it, really? Uh, I'd like to fire into the side, so we're going to have to move you here. Like so. Copy that. Cham some more rounds in. Uh, 65, not bad, not bad. This guy's starting to hurt on the arms. If we can knock an arm, we can get rid of some of these flamers, which would be nice. A machine gun would be nice. Uh, the lasers are in the torso, from what I remember. The leg, at least, is depth and above sort of bad now for him. Uh, 15, if he depth and above's in, it'll probably get a little mangled here. If I was him, I'd probably start giving vision on these. I'd jump in, give vision. I don't know. Don't know what I would do. I could jump this way. Man, we're running out of room, though. At some point, we're probably going to have to move forward into him. The only problem is, is he's bracing into us. So if we do move forward, we have no way of breaking that brace. Uh... I played myself into a corner a little. The urban's getting pretty close to being usable now. I'd say he could get this forward. He probably wants to... He needs to give vision. And then he wants to start using stuff here. I'd say he's going to lock something and start using... I'm going to have to move forward into this. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have to think about this one. So this is probably depth and above range. This is probably usable now. Um, that AC is probably usable. So if we stick you here. Uh, you know what we could do? We could bait them in. I'd say he won't depth them above though. Surely not. I would have to be probably somewhere around here for this to work. Uh, we rotate like this. We brace. And then he death them above. We're going to take a lot of damage. We could maybe return it though. Two punches from my lights. And then a punch from my medium. Might be able to get him down. He's going to have a lot of evasion. We probably have to lock him with one and then punch with the other. Right, let's do it. Heads now. 
Let's do it. If he doesn't death them above, well, too bad, so sad for me. I'd say he death them above here. Uh, so what we need to do is we'd need to lock with the Locust, punch with him, punch with him, because the Locust will get him down to four. He could just fire his weapons in, really, and just grind us up a bit. I would, yeah, I'd consider the death room above, and then you can jump, fire, fire, maybe knock this. It's definitely there as an option. It's got the range, probably, in the Vindy. Hello, Rams. He's setting up for death them above. Maybe. I guess he wasn't in range for it. This is probably going to jump and fire. Uh, what do we want to do? So this is kind of. I was hoping he would death them above here. Probably need to set up for him to land here. Uh, so, what do we want? We probably need Arclight to lock something here so that we can fire on it. I'd probably fire on the Vindy just to make sure that it's a little bit more damaged as it comes in. It's going to be braced. We're going to take rounds from everything. I think that's the better option just to make sure it's not as healthy when it lands on us. I'll do what I can. So we can get this down to two. We can get it down to zero. We can fire. I could possibly fire with this. Oh, come on. Stop with your reserving. Doesn't work. Does not work, sir. I'd say he needs to move to fire. This is actually worse for him that he couldn't death them above this round. Because now we're braced. And next turn, we can go last with Sumo. And get him up after he death them above. So, he could probably mangle us a fair bit with all these weapons, though. I mean, he can direct fire with the AC. He can kind of direct fire with this. Uh, that didn't move far. We might just fire on this actually. He's gonna do, he's gonna fire his AC here. So we'll lock this guy. Fire the large laser into him. Surely he's not bracing here. He might brace here. It'd be a fairly okay move. If he braces here, all right, all right. We'll fire into that then. I'm happy to fire into that. Uh, I really need you to have some evasion here, buddy. This is a little scary. Can we move this away? We can. Alright. Are you... My only problem is, if he comes in here, I really want to be able to use this guy, right? Jesus, we can fire from here. Could fire in the rockets. <laughs> it's a little insane, though. A little insane. Hmm. Uh, I'd really like you to move, though, to somewhere where you can possibly be of. Can we stop that noise? Of benefit. I think we have to take to here. Hopefully, I don't think that trash can can come far enough forward. Um, we'll probably know what's going on soon anyway. I definitely think he's setting up for a death from above, though. I'll happily fire into that. He probably jumps this forward and fires. And then he death from above's next turn. 
Or does he just start firing from here the whole time? Alright, can that fire from there? Surely it can. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. So, do you continue to do this though? Is the real question. We'll probably move here. Uh, like so. I prefer that he jumped on Sumo, so I think we back up a little, just to give him Sumo as a primary target. Hopefully he just thinks this is great to jump on. And we fire in everything into here. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully we have with most of this stuff. Excellent. We really need that arm to pop off, but... I guess that's not going to happen. He might just sensor lock us from here, I guess. Oh, we got focus. If he did them above, we could focus. I could sensor lock with the... Mm, I wonder if we're just going to get ground down here. Maybe. We will see in a sec. Really? Alright. Ah, uh, damn. That's actually going to stuff us a little, I think. I'd have preferred he sensor locked. We'll just reserve here. He's probably going to... He needs to reserve. Then he wants to lock probably this. thinking about it. He's probably just going to reserve though. I have to see what I do. Do I fire into this? Did he move that? He's moving it. Here we go. Come on. Lock this. Please don't lock any of this stuff. Alright. My start. Hmm. What do we get? We get... He's going to have full evasion coming in. We probably move you back here. Just so you don't get absolutely blasted by something weird. We lock this. And we hope it comes in. And then we just punch it to death. Mm. Alright, let's go. Hopefully he death them above this. This is what I really want. Probably won't work out all that nice for us, but... We'll see in a second. Uh, he might... F he's probably... Yeah, so he death them above now. We get up, we punch him. With a focus, maybe? And then we can lock him down to something, and then we can punch him again. It's a lot of punching. Or does he just shoot us? He might just shoot us, right? Might just shoot us. Our idea is going to just shoot us. Oof. Ooh, he used his focus there. Alright, is he going to dip them above next round then? That kind of stuffs us a little here. I think he's just going to shoot us a lot. Kind of annoying. Uh, I guess we move in. We lock. <sighs> I'd say he's braced here. I don't know if I just lose this fight, right? This is going to be... Yeah, he's going to be bulwarked here. Hopefully... Come on, death them above me. You know you want to. You know you want to. Collapse down on the side of it. 
We have everything else in. Come on. Do it for me, sir. He could just jump. We will probably lose this in the long run. If he does then. Alright, he's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's just gonna shoot us in the side. Alright. Uh, what do we do then if he's not gonna death him above us? Hmm. Kind of running out of options, aren't I? Kind of running out of options. Right here. Uh, we can double fire in, I guess. I really need him to death them above me, though, is what I really need. Hmm. Alright, let's just go hard on this, I guess. Go as hard as we can here. We'll just let him shoot up sumo quite a bit. Uh, do we out DPS him? Maybe. Mm, we need some lucky hits here. Need some lucky hits. That's for sure. I'm not convinced that me pushing out is going to be a solid option here. at all. We could maybe focus and rip an arm off this guy. If I was him, I would rotate this a bit to save that arm. And then he probably just wins the grind here, right? Because he can fire in with another AC. I mean, he does a lot of damage. A lot of damage indeed. Yeah, he's going to sense lock again here, probably. Alright, he's going for that. Alright. Interesting. What can I do for you? Interesting. We could do a full sprint this way. Give vision. And probably not get fired on too badly. Hmm... And then maybe we could focus for this. I mean, we'd have to turn a lot of our mechs for this, right? To evasion. Do you fire upon this? Or reserve down? I don't think he has vision this turn around on here. Maybe he does. Maybe he's got vision on sumo. I think Sumo's still got most of his weapons here. So we might be able to move and fire on this. Although this is not really that wrecked. Uh, so we've got issues there. Okay, he does have vision on that. That's hurting a lot. Goes the LRM. We're going to have to rotate Sumo now. Going to have to rotate Sumo indeed. Uh, do I go all in on the fire starter? Possibly. What, do you what can you do here, my friend? You can fire in everything. And then you only have your large lasers, right? That's going to cost you if you move there. So he'll go down to zero evasion. Alright, let's go. Oh, let's go. What do we hit here? 55s? Seems pretty good to me. Pretty good indeed. I think we're going to lose this fight. There's no way we're standing in this corner and winning. At all. Really. 
the locust will probably lose this fight too. There's a lot of armor on this thing. Uh, you just keep hammering this. We could have maybe moved sumo here. Should we might move sumo. How much vision has he got from this? Does he not have death from above? What well, would this be? A large laser, right? I don't know if a large laser is worth losing all of our stuff for. Could multi shot as well into this somewhat, I guess. 40% though. We rotate like this. He has no vision, I guess. Which means he has to push forward, I guess, with stuff. Seems pretty okay. okay. I'm on it. So we'll lock you first. And then we'll lock you. And we will fire away, buddy. Fire away. And then I guess we focus with blockade here. Alright, nice hit, I guess. Nice hit indeed. It's not going to do as much as we'd like. So now he's got to push forward with this stuff. He can do a fair amount of damage. He could probably jump in with this. Uh, oh no, did he reserve down? Actually, he did. Uh, we need to reserve here though. And then we focus up on this, maybe kill it. We're not going to kill it. Not going to kill it. I do like the AC version a lot more. It does have less armor, but... I mean, you get by without that armor. Get by indeed. Uh, he's probably going to jump. I'd say he jumped the urban forward. To fire here. Actually, this isn't this isn't paradise. All right. That is not paradise at all. Um, because he just he's bulwarking up on that top of that hill. Uh, push out here. Fire everything. How far can we push? Push something like this, I guess. Come on, give me give me what I need. There we go. And that doesn't have vision. It should be okay then. Ugh. There we go. So we'll focus for this. And try and do our best to mess them up. Mess them up good. Uh, do I overheat for this? I think I do. Try and just gouge bits off this guy. He might try and flamethrow us, I guess. Uh, to the leg. It's probably not what we wanted, but I guess we'll have to do what we can here. Do what we can. Now, you'd probably jump the urban forward to fire. Interesting that this isn't uh, paradise, actually. We're going to have to put the lights onto this, I'd say. And try and deal with the fire starter. He might jump it out. He might jump it forward. At least the legs are pretty wrecked. So if he does jump forward, it's going to be a little harsh. I just need to clear this fire starter because then he gets no uh, sensor locking. He still has all this stuff though. I don't know if he has... 
He might be able to jump behind us here and shoot us in the back. We'll see in a sec. If he reserves on us, we'll probably bum rush this. I'd say he gets it out now. But if he reserves, we'll definitely bum rush with uh, what we have. Showboat and uh, the Locust can probably do some work. I'd say, do you take it forward? I mean, there's three evasion on this. You might cripple the Locust, I guess. Uh, two medium lasers to the torso. I think you have about 60 on a Locust. I forget, is it about 30 armor, maybe 40? He could jump this round, fire. He's trying to corral us a bit, and we have back to the hill. Alright, he's pulling that out. Is he going to sensor lock? Surely he's not going to sensor lock, right? Oop, well, he wants that mech. That's for sure. Uh, yep. I think I can push you to here. And we can get vision. And we can fire. I'd probably take the vision and lock. He might jump this forward to shoot at us. Uh, let's go for it, I think. We'll get the vision. Maybe I could have parked here and we'll see what we've got. What are we dealing with? Six evasion. It's a lot of evasion. Uh, we can get you down to, what, four? Mm. And then what do we have here? <clears throat> uh, we've got a lot of legging to do. A lot of legging, which I don't think is going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see in a sec. <laughs> Maybe I could have reserved to see what he does with this. I wonder if he's going to go for... Who did he lock? He locked blockades. Blockade's got full armor here. Ugh, blockade. You're going to have to rotate blockade because you can't afford to lose your arm. You are. So, Blockade's probably going to have to rotate here. I'm here. And fire off what they can. I want to see if Showboat can make this. You, I don't think Showboat can, yeah. Showboat can't make that. We could come back and fire, I guess. Uh, so, Blockade. Right. Might actually just rotate you here and just uh, brace yourself. Mm, we could go here. I wonder if this is going to be paradise. That would not be nice. Uh, if that's paradise, we might back up like this, I think. And just brace ourselves. We need the heat back anyway. I don't think he can jump that far enough forward to do too much. We could probably swing. Humo needs to be on this side to be shooting people. Uh, showboat needs to come back in. Arclight probably needs to come back. Aye, aye. It's going to be a long game, I think. A long game. <laughs> I think he's considering whether he fires this and then moves this, or whether he moves... Do you have vision? I suppose he can just fire from there, right? Showboat needs to come in, probably. Tank up the other side. That's alright. Take those hits. Take those hits indeed. Hmm. Could go in like this and fire on this guy. Not quite multi shot though. Is there somewhere here, apparently? Like so. Hmm. 
gonna be in trouble from this uh, urban, I think. I think we have to move Showboat here, to go. just to see what he wants to do with that urban. We might move Showboat and fire, I guess. On my way. Probably fire at this, and keep on traveling on our merry way. Could actually pop that PPC, which would be amazing, probably. It's going to get pretty intense. This is pretty full. This is pretty wrecked. This is really wrecked. If he fires from there, we're going to move Sumo around and fire at this. And I have a lot of choices here. I reckon this fits probably better than mine. So, uh, this is not a position I expected myself to be in, but it is what we've got now. Alright, cool. So he's going to move in with that. He's going to fire into your torso, I guess. Alright, to the leg. That's excellent. That's exactly what we need. This guy has probably got two evasion. So now we can move sumo here, I guess. And ah, oh, you've lost your LRM. That's why you can't target that thing in the back. All right. Uh, we could actually just fire from here. What do you got to hit with this guy? You can hit with most of your stuff. If we get lucky, we could share this off, I guess. Move somewhat like this, I guess. Mm, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and rotate on this guy and get that arm. If we can. I don't know if we can, but we'll try. We will try, that's for sure. Uh, who's up? You're up. Uh, you're just going to reserve here. He's probably got vision. See what he wants to do. He could maybe shred the evasion from here if he sensor locks. He might move back, sensor lock. Uh, we'll probably bring the locust around and fire. Uh, we'll move the commando around and fire. I don't think he has vision, right? Oh, maybe he does. So it's going to hurt for Sumo. It is. Oof, lucky you, Sumo. Lucky you, buddy. Does he come in with this as well, then? Or is he going to reserve? Uh, we'll reserve. Standing by. <clears throat> uh, Sumo will have to... Okay, let's see what we can do here. Waiting on you, Commander. That's not really what I want to do. Sumo... Can you do, buddy? What can you do for me? Death them above? How's that sound? That sounds pretty intense, doesn't it? I guess we keep traveling, keep firing, keep doing what we can. Alright, let's go, Sumo. We're just going to throw it all in here. Go on and go for it, buddy. 35, we would need pretty much everything to hit that arm. Uh... And we don't need that, but that's for sure. Ah, Sumo. You're probably wrecked here, but good luck. Good luck, buddy. He can move this and fire. He could move this in and fire. At least this AC's done. He could death them above with this, now that we have no real setup. He's rotating his arm. He's going to fire down here then. Alright. Taking it to the torso like a champ. Whew. That, that was a hit. Ah, don't worry about it, buddy. Don't worry about it. Hmm. 
It's a trash can. That's his AC arm, actually. We could maybe fire into the side of that, too. Uh, like so, I guess. Blockade, you're going to have to do some work, buddy. Ooh, I should have sense locked first, actually. Uh, what would we need? Actually, that's a small laser arm. Damn. Uh, that's my mistake. Indeed. Can we just go all in on this guy? I could. It's going to just tank so much, though. Alright, let's just go all in. Let's just go all in. He doesn't really care about that arm so much. He's probably going to fire him with the AC from here. I think we just fire everyone into this now. And try and just burn this guy down. If he moves in with this, we'll attack this instead. But we need the lights to be doing work now. They can't be sitting around. They absolutely cannot be sitting around. I'd say he groups up on the Centurion. Hammers it down. As best he can. Uh, so that I'm down a Centurion. <sighs> this is super annoying, this. Super annoying. We're going to have to bring the Locust Cross to fire here. We have to bring the Commando in as well. Uh, Alright. You didn't want that arm anyway, did you? You didn't want that arm at all. Alright, let's go. Showboat. Go, shall we? Full move across this way. Like so. Fire onto this. Start trying to shave bits off him. Maybe we pop an arm here. Come on. Uh, he's just going to tank through this entirely. Entirely. I wonder if he brings this in to fire on this now. I would. I'd probably go on this now. Uh, that's not happening there, buddy. Oh, hey. Really? Can you not see that what's going to happen at 2 is going to happen at 1? He probably wants to jump to fire. Because you don't particularly want to be... Uh, you don't particularly want to be doing anything weird. Alright, he's going to flamethrow us. Fair enough. This mech is wrecked. He's going to get a turn before this. He might even shut this down. Uh, but, we will run in. Probably from the side here. And karate kick him a bit. 15. It's not going to do enough, but hopefully it does something. We can maybe karate kick him twice. Alright, I needed that to be done with the leg, but so be it. So be it. Uh, Arclight, you're going to have to probably travel on here, buddy. Because, uh, how the hell do you get up there to kick him? Because you're not going to... You know what? Stuff it. It's reserved down. He can either kick us back or do something. He'll probably flamethrow this. Uh, we will move in and bash this thing down. We'll at least get some revenge. I'd say we're going to lose our scent here. Is he dipped him above him? He's jumping out. Is he going to fire at this? He is. Alright. Through the armor. Alright. Uh, yeah, you got some internal damage there. Alright, Clyde. What do you get for a hit here? Get 65? Hmm. Punch him in the back. 15 will do pretty much nothing. Sadly, we can't quite get this side here. I think we'll just, uh... <laughs> do we throw this in like that? I don't think so, right? I think we run in. We kick this guy. In the front. And then, what do we do? Hmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Do we reserve here? We might just. Re oh, you could probably jump this and fire, though, right? Waiting for orders. I just don't want to be shooting this thing up on this hill. Let's just see what happens. We're going to reserve. He might jump this forward. He might fire. If he reserves. Oof, do I risk the locust, though? I'm going to have to go. I think I'm going to have to use the locust here to attack no matter what this turn. He could probably then punch it back. If I was him, I'd probably jump this forward and fire. I don't know, actually. He could jump behind and fire. He could just shoot this in the side. Alright, he's being a little risk adverse. He's going to fire on this then. Oof, to the head. Didn't want that head anyway. You don't need that head. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Art Clark, you definitely need to do something now. I wonder if we can get Showboat down here as well. We can. We could probably just go all in on this guy, right? Uh, we'll kick him from the front. The reason we're going to kick from the front is we might get a chance to do some work here. Uh, but we'll see in a sec. I suppose if we get lucky, we hit him in the leg. Or in the shoulder, apparently. And then we'll move in with you and fire. He's probably just going to wipe this though. Oh, I'd fire at this. I don't even know if he might have a focus. Try your luck. Kill the, kill the little locust. You could fire in your LRMs first. Shred it down to one evasion and then fire in with this guy. And then he would have probably no real chance of living here. He might be able to move Sumo here. and f oof, Sumo's not going to be able to fire anything, really. Uh, okay, so he's going to fire from there. He's going to try his luck at this. Oh, he's got a... F really? Well, at least I get my focus, I guess. It's probably not going to be enough, though. Wow, we survived. Not bad. Not too shabby. Where's my focus? Come on. Where is my focus, sir? I can do. Uh, let's have a look. Waiting on you, Commander. Probably want to save you till last. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll move blockade and fire our LRMs into the side here. And then we will move Sumo and fire. Firing. And then we will fire with uh, Showboat here to finish this guy off, hopefully. Maybe. That's, that's the plan, right? That's the plan. So now this is probably going to fire over here. Hopefully Sumo can get in range to see this. Otherwise, it's going to have to be Showboat and then Sumo, which kind of sucks. Uh, if he finishes this off, we might get a focus. Maybe. Ugh, here we go. Here we go, buddy. You gotta survive, my friend. Just survive. It's gonna be 40 damage. You can do it. You can do it. You've, you know, you've seen tougher times. It's multi-shot, I'd say. Ugh, mate. Yeah, that is bad. You've had better days. Right here. Uh, let's keep on trucking. You're probably not surviving too much more of this. So we'll move you around here. Fire on this guy. With uh, whatever you can. We're going to have to save some heat. So I guess we turn off one laser, which kind of sucks. But uh, do your best. Mm, that is not your best, my friend. That is not your best. That is your worst. Your absolute worst. Yeah, yeah, I am watching your heat, buddy. I am watching your heat, my friend. 60 is the hit. So we do about 100 in damage, so we should do 75 at the max. So we're probably going to do about 20. <sighs> Come on, buddy. 
I need maybe a hit to that leg. Put it into range to knock him. Uh, so he's down to one evasion. So if I punch him, I don't think we do enough here. Mm -hmm. Definitely think we punch this. Uh, we're not even close. Not even close. It was a good try. Go on, Arclight. Do your best. It would have been great if she did a little bit more than that. But that's the best we're going to get. He's going to jump this out now. Finish this off. And then down we go. And a screaming heap. And down we go. It's pretty much the only mech we had a handle on. Uh, as soon as he jumps it back, we are a little stuffed. A little stuffed. Where's my focus? Come on. Alright, he's just gonna destroy us. What? Is he going for this? Or is he flamethrower? I would have flamethrowed this actually. You could shut this down maybe. Hmm. Is that gonna do. In How much heat does that do to a commando? Not enough. That's for sure. This is when I really need focus. Uh, what would we need here? 35. We need to hit the torso to finish this guy. No evasion. He could just plow this. Come on. Torso hit. Torso hit would be amazing. <clears throat> A leg? Alright. I guess at least we can call shots. He's going to finish off the commando though. Which leaves us with a locust which is not great. Actually, we will get to start the next turn, so he might have no... Uh, he's going to jump with this and have vision. I was going to say he might have no vision, but he's definitely going to have vision. Sumo. If I could get close enough. I, can do. I think you overheat for this, buddy. Definitely think you overheat for this. Even if you have to shut down, I'm probably okay with that. Finish this guy off, so the vision's gone. Uh, how are we looking for heat? Mm, what would we need? We need 35. I'm pretty sure we just go with everything, right? What are we looking at? We're looking at enough armor to do this. Come on. There we go. For a second then, it freaked me out. I thought we were about to get uh, a little shafted here. This is probably dead. I'd say there's no way this is surviving. Uh, what do we need to focus on next? I have no idea. There's a lot of work we still need to do. He's no, He's got no more sensor locking. If I could get this out, I'd be super happy. I don't think this is getting out, though. Just no evasion. It, it's pretty much toaster food now. Pretty much toaster food. If that had been a center torso hit, maybe... No, it wouldn't have mattered. We're probably better off with that leg hit, actually. Than anything. He's got no vision, so... Not too sure what's going on here. I'm going to take a sprint across this way, I think. And try and keep ourselves... A little safe. That's kind of nice. Uh, just to keep this urban off us a bit. And then we can probably reset and start doing some work with everybody else. He's probably going to push this forward and fire here. He's probably got a focus. I mean, he just used one, but he's probably got another one. Uh, what are you reserving for? Really? Why would you double reserve into phase one? The only thing I could think of is if you had Master Tactician on someone. 
to get rid of stability damage, but it's his turn, so go for it. Uh, what do we start working on here? Maybe the Centurion. I know its arm's a bit uh, hammered, so maybe he's going to have vision, though, I'd say. Come on, please don't have vision. Come on, another focus. I feel like I'm getting a little ripped off here with my focus. I've had, what, one? I've had one. And I feel like he's had, like, about 20. Feel like he's had 20. Probably He's probably had three, but... I just feel like I'm getting ripped off here. We're going to use the Locust to probably sensor lock this. Probably fire in with the Commando if we can. And have a good old day with uh, that Centurion, I guess. I think he might be able to jump here and fire. Hopefully not. But uh, come on, give me, a, give me a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. No, he's going to fire from there. I'd laugh if we got hit in the head. No? You're not going to blast me in the head? For a million damage? Alright, so you need to get out of here. You need to lock this. We're going to reserve here. I think he's going to jump forward and fire for this. We might be able to lock it back and do a bit of damage. So we'll see what he does here. If he reserves... Mm, I'm not convinced locking this and firing into it is probably the best course of action. We might want to move the commando though. Mm, I'm a little torn. Alright, he doesn't want to fire with that. Oh, man. Oh, thank God that missed. Thankfully, some luck. Some luck. He's going to get a double turn of firing on this, though. I think we just reserve. So now he's going to probably bulwark here. I guess we then move you, lock this, fire with you guys. I should have probably have locked this and then moved with everyone else if he's gonna bulwark here. Yeah, I should have removed the vision he has. Because now we're just getting hammered, right? Actually, wow, we did pretty well. I hate these guys. Not too shabby. Uh what do you need? Let's see if I rotate like this. What arm is this? This is the Yeah, this arm's alright. We might just stay... Can we move, actually? Uh, we can move to here, but we can't fire. Really? How is that? Oh, he's got no... Okay, we can't fire over this hill. Interesting. Hmm. I think we move and brace, probably. Just to get ourselves out of here a little. And force him in and then I suppose we can just fire with something else let's move we'll move we'll brace we'll get the rest of these guys doing some work uh, if I was him I'd maybe move for this we're gonna have to we want to maybe use our focus soon I could maybe move this way with the commando fire a focus does the commando do the most damage it's close to it. And then we could swing around again and hit him again. We'll see what he does. He might just back up. Alright, he is backing up. Uh, that's fine. We'll probably just I'm here. swing you over here. Come we'll lock on. this guy. I just want to get heat back, really. Lock you. Sumo has no LRMs, unfortunately. Actually, Sumo, can you get... You can't get close enough, can you, buddy? Showboat. Just want to hide in these trees a little. And by a little, I mean a lot. Uh, 
Let's get you down. Sadly, no LRMs, but we had to move blockade. Otherwise, she would have just taken a bunch of punches to the face. Let's get you in. What are you looking like? Cool. You're not looking happy, are you? I'll probably move you here, and we'll just brace you up. Get that heat down, buddy. Get that heat down. Gives you a few more turns of probably firing this stuff. I will reserve in. We're definitely just going to drop LRM-10s for as long as we can. I think if we push into this, we're going to have a hard time. Just waiting for the right move. Mm. Alright, we're going to play the old reserve game. I need to use my focus soon uh, so that I can start building it up again. Because I don't want to be wasting uh, focus if I lose mechs. You got it. Prefer if block A could maybe get some shots on this A and just do it in. I don't think we're going to have that kind of luck. The PPC on this is kind of damaged. So we're okay there. Arc light, you just want to move forward a little, buddy, and grab me a lock on this guy. See what we get. No evasion. I could just fire in if he doesn't brace now. If he jumps with this, we can just fire into this. Alternatively, he's probably going to brace here. I don't think we've got any shots from down here. Maybe we've got large lasers. I guess we just rotate and fire. Alright, he's going around the hill. That's cool, we'll just drop some, uh, drop some LRMs on that. Uh, blockade. I'm gonna go this way and just drop some, drop some, uh, mayhem on him. We've got, uh, we've got plenty of turns of firing this, so we'll start putting in that damage. Start doing that hurt. Because he will want to. It's a shame we didn't have an LRM left on this, but he might be saving for his focus here so he can just chew someone up, which would be pretty sensible. We might even move Sumo back a bit and brace, just so he has to come quite far forward to see us in this forest. Each tile of forest you're in makes it harder and harder to see, so we might have to do that. Just to get ourselves out of whatever predicament we're in. He's going to come in for the vision game here, I guess. Alright, he's going to go in. Please don't have a focus. Ooh, one hit here will do us in. Ha <laughs> ha. Lucky, sir. Did you just lose your large laser, though? Please tell me you didn't lose your large laser, buddy. You got a crit on it, didn't you? Uh... Go this way, fire. Should we probably want to go and fire into the front of this guy? And we probably want to go with Shobo, uh, Sumo first, just so that we can do whatever we can do here. Maybe we can pop some stuff off him. I think we just, uh, we gotta be careful because this guy could probably shoot us in the side. Fire him with these. Maybe we get lucky with a hit. Nope. No luck. No luck at all. But Showboat now gets to fire, so hopefully Showboat does well. Come on, Showboat. I can maybe use the focus for this. I'd rather use it for the hail, though, in reality. But oh, he's got vision there. I don't want to give him vision at all. Uh, let's move you on, buddy. That leg's a little sketchy, but hopefully it's okay. So let's have a look. If I got lucky, I could blow an arm off. If he lost his PPC, it would be a pretty good blow to him, right? But, I mean, there's a lot of everything else. I think we do focus for this. And then we can fire again, maybe. We can do this. Let's go. Uh, with uh, the other mix, right? Come on, give me, give me an arm hit here. Ugh. Still nothing, eh? Still nada. So then we can go with uh, Arclight, right? We can fire in with Arclight. 
and then we can fire in uh, with showboat again. I think that's how we have to do this. Maybe try and pop that PPC arm. Uh, man, we need one of these SRM2s to hit here. Be amazing. All right, he's rocking though. That boat is a rocking. Showboat. I wonder if he brings this in to fire over here. Maybe. Showboat will go in here and fire. And then it's all on, right? It's all on. He'll get his turn first. He'll probably get this out. He's going to fire from the high ground onto Sumo. Sumo, you might be dead, buddy. Uh, what do you need? No, he still needs a bit to do you in. Still needs a bit. You are wrecked, my friend. You are wrecked. Uh, at best we can do from here I don't know if that's really all that great we could maybe just stand and fire I prefer not to but sadly we can't do any better than this really still need one to hit we've got 10 chances the chances of this is I think it's like 8% or something so we're going to have to do a fair bit of work here Come on, baby. One hit. Come on, RNG. Do me. Yes. Oh, he lost both arms. Small laser and the PPC. Okay. Uh, he probably death them above this. Maybe. I mean, this is pretty wrecked. If he doesn't move this, we will knock it. Uh, not that it's going to matter because he will just get it up again. I think... Man, the commando is going to be MVP here. Absolute MVP. He uh, managed to deleg the fire starter. He, uh, he is doing work. All right, he's coming in. And down it goes. Down it goes. Did he get trees? He didn't get trees, did he? Ah, oh, he's going to have a vision with this, though. Uh, what has he got? So this side's the weakest side. Man, we have to do a lot of damage, though. Do I want to roll up on him? I don't know if that's how I really want to go. We can go for some movement, though. Uh, we can get him with the small laser. Multi-shot out this way. We've got the heat. Take the evasion. He'll be down to... one bit of evasion. Then the... These guys can shoot him as well, I guess. I think we just fire everything into this guy. Fortunately, it's just going to be spread out here. But uh, maybe it'll do enough. Alright, well that's that's not a great start, that's for sure. <clears throat> not a great start at all. His evasion's gone? Excellent. So now, we could probably book this way, fire in, book this way, fire in. We might knock him, then we can kill him. It all depends on what this does. This might just destroy people. Uh, he's probably got to focus. He's probably just going to rip, like, the locust a new one. Still got an urban to deal with. I'd fire into probably the commando if I had a focus. Uh, which he most likely does since... Alright, fourth focus. Great. I would definitely go for the commando. It's the most damage. The locust is garbage. Come on. Come on. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, yeah, I'd go for this. It's worth the most. It's still 100 damage. Uh, if I'm lucky, he goes for this instead. Then we can focus on this. This will probably be dead. Uh, we're counting down the timer here. He's thinking. He's thinking. He will get to fire probably with this. Locust is going to move around here and fire. You can fire. Try our best. Uh, please don't break. Come on, don't break. Don't break. I haven't had the bug yet, but we might be breaking here. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's probably dead. <coughs> I did say... Luckily, that's the better target for him to shoot. So, 
we should get to start here. And I think we just go straight on you, buddy. So we do about 100 damage. I could come in... Oh, let's just go in from the front. Whatever. Uh, it'll be then his turn, then my turn. So we should get rid of this Vindy here. Uh, he will get to fire with this, though. So we might take a bit of damage. We need four of our hits to land on the torso here to really be effective. Oh, a knockdown will do, I guess. A knockdown will do. So it's going to be an AL versus an Irby and an A. Uh, hopefully we can finish this off. And then, uh, I don't know, somehow we have to fight this uh, horrible fight. Can we rotate you a bit here? I'd like to rotate like so. Actually, I'd actually like to move you a little, buddy. He gets vision there. I need to go somewhere where he doesn't have vision. I don't... My problem is, is he's probably going to go for the commando here. I don't want to lose this arm as well. So I think we just have to sit tight. And do what we can here. We're going to ease up with the LRMs because we need the heat. Any one of these hits and he's dead. So, come on, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. One hit. Excellent. There we go. There we go. Whew. All right. Or even, kind of. He's probably got a little bit more armor. If we can get probably the commander around the side, we can probably get rid of this AC. Because uh, I do remember that I did a bit of damage to it. Whether it is good or not, we'll see in a sec. He's probably going to move that forward and tank it, I'd say. On the rubble. Alright, I don't mind the rubble. Don't have another focus. Uh, we're kind of even on the armor. Mm, probably not so much anymore. Not after uh, that amount of abuse. At least it's on the arm that doesn't need it. He's going to get the AC in from here as well. He's got a lot more damage than we do. But if we shift this way, fire, shift this way, fire, we should be okay. We get to go first, fire, he goes, we go, fire. Maybe we get rid of an AC. Maybe we don't. Look at this though. This is a, a pile up of mechs. Absolute pile up. Maybe we die. I mean, if we take a headshot, we might just die here. Okay, I'm down for that. I'm, under heavy fire here. I'm down for that indeed. My start. Thank you. Oof, look at that fury. He's going to get a focus before I do, I bet. Um, which will absolutely hammer us. Going to move this way. We're going to fire into the side. And then we will do the same. Oh, man, we got a lot to do here. A lot to do. And that is not a beginning. That is not a healthy beginning. No evasion though. Okay. Oh, he is actually on this uh, rubble stuff. So he's going to take a fair bit of uh, stability issues here. If he has a focus, he's probably just going to just chew us up. He'll probably just jump and fire from there maybe. I'll move this way. Hopefully fire. Uh, please don't be a focus. He's going for my arm now, I'd say. <sighs> These focuses. Come on. He's going to shoot this now. Don't get knocked. Alright, you're fine. You're fine, buddy. I don't even know what you lost, but it's all good. It's all good here. Alright, we can shoot him in the side. From here. We're going to turn on the LRMs. Because I need to just do maximum damage. What arm is what? Uh, we still want to rotate towards him as much as possible. The junk arm is on this side. It is the one that's wrecked, but... Everything's kind of wrecked here. We need some lucky hits here. Come on, baby. Give me some luck. Alright, well. Come on, pop it. Yes. No more AC for you. Sir, no more AC. We could probably group up on the urban now. Maybe try and get rid of his AC. Uh, we'll have a focus. Maybe we can get the commander around the side and shoot him. We're still... 
still down a bit. He's got two medium lasers and an LRM-10. I wonder if he's just going to go in on my commando now. Wonder if that's his choice. Nope. All right, he's going to try and do me in. We might lose that head. One hit to that head, and we are toast. Come on, focus. There we go. Where would we have to go to shoot him in the side? Man, that's... Do I risk this, do you think? To get rid of the AC, I'd have to do 75 damage. I don't know if I can do 75 damage. I could maybe do a decent amount of damage from the front. Uh... Hmm... Got some movement problems as well. Got some serious movement problems. We can maybe back up this way and hammer him. Ooh, we've lost an SRM as well. All right. All right. It's all on today. Uh, we don't want to fire on this guy. Small laser. Maybe we could just back up and fire. Can't even see him from there. He can still see us. Ay ay ay. We're running out of time. I think we just move here and fire, I guess. Try and keep this thing down. Uh, we better fire or else we're gonna brace. Maybe we save the focus here and we just blast this thing. He's going to jump it, probably. I'd say he's still got vision here. AC is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, he's pretty hot on this, at least. And he could fire at this. I mean, there's lots of uh, bits and pieces falling off this mech now. Maybe I could push blockade forward. Although I don't want him getting behind me with the AC, because that would do some serious work. We really need to probably move this way with blockade. Just to keep this arm okay. He's going for this. Don't have another focus. He shouldn't have another focus. Alright, I guess we have to move this way to fire under here. What? Ah, oh, precision strike. Okay. For a second, I was about to say, there's no way he has uh There's no way he has a focus. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm here. I think we just shoot this guy like this, right? Uh, we do a fair amount of damage, so the heat, oh, we can't even overheat because we would just die, right? Damn it. Um, can we get some evasion going? I guess we just move this away, rotate. He so says actually got Apex in this trash can here. Just want to keep him out of punch range because he might death them above us. Uh, which would be a little unruly, right? I think we just back up. We have some heat issues, so we're going to have to turn off this. Probably these. Save some heat and then focus. I can't overheat because I'll just lose things, right? What's in the shoulder, actually? LRM. That's okay to lose, I guess. He's going to have another focus next turn. If I've got one, he's going to have one. Which means we're going to have troubles with our commando here. Commando, sir. You're going to have some issues. He's going to LRM-10 us. Alright. Uh, if he hits that, we're dead. Alright. Oh no, actually it's the other side, so we're pretty good there. Uh, let's see. What's the back of one of these? Really? You don't want to tell me, do you? I wonder if we focused into the back of this. 60 damage, plus 25. It's going to be pretty spread, though. And he might just jump on us. Hmm, 3 evasion. Can we get to somewhere a little bit nicer looking? Nope. I guess we just take this, I think. 
I think this is the time to go. Commando's probably not going to survive too much more. He's going to have a focus with his AC here. Uh, what does we need to pop this? Ugh, we need a lot. Alright, buddy. You need to possibly blow off the AC here. Alright, or you could just spread all your damage out. That's, that's another option. That's another option indeed. He'll probably, I would jump behind and fire into the back of this with a focus, with an AC-10. Probably kill it. I don't think, uh, I don't think we can deal with that. Maybe I should have moved the Centurion into punch range, actually. Yeah, I, I would just jump... I would jump here. Or you could get them above the side of this. I think the legs of this are still pretty good. Um, I suppose... That, uh, yeah, I would jump here, because then you're not giving me rare armor for blockade either. Uh, he's going to actually just punch us in the side. Probably going to hit... Oh, it didn't hit a leg. Alright, so now we can shoot him in the back. Hopefully we don't lose a leg. We're going to lose an arm. That's fine. You can see daylight through my armor. So now Blockade can swing this way. And just hammer him down. Luckily we saved heat here. So now hopefully we should just blow through this thing here. Please, sir. Do I fire in? I think I fire in the LRM-10. Ugh, can't. I just gotta save heat. Such a big problem. Uh, please hit the torso. Come on, sir. Not a leg. Alright. We hit a leg. Awkward. Awkward indeed. He's gonna LRM-10 us again. Maybe we can get behind this and shoot it again with our SRMs if we survive. Or does he move down here, focus, with two medium lasers and an LRM-10? Hmm. Uh, yeah. He might pop that arm, I suppose. I don't know what he's saving for here. But, uh, I wouldn't be. I'd be coming on in. Alright, buddy. Shoot him in the back. Again. <laughs> come on. Boys, come on. What do we need here? We need oh, two to hit that there. Or the medium laser. Come on. 85 and 75. Do me a solid. Come on. There we go. Finally. So now what we'll do is we'll probably sensor lock. And drop LRM-10s in on that guy here. Just try and weaken him up a bit. He's got to come in now. He's going to have a focus. With the AC-10 gone, we're doing a lot better. Man, I can't believe this has been two hours so far. We could still lose this. Couple of lucky shots. We just need He just needs a headshot, right? And suddenly we're boned. Suddenly we are super boned. Since our head is pretty much made of tinfoil. Another focus. Maybe he's going to go for the commando here. Uh, he's got more armor on that side. We might lose our lasers if he hits, uh, if he hits us anymore. My gosh. We are... Somehow, this thing is just glued together. Somehow it is glued together. I don't know how, but it is. What do we got here? Okay, we've lost the large laser. Can we sort of back up here? Uh, turn on the LRM-10. Hmm. I have a feeling that we're going to need to probably rotate like this. And see how we do. See how we do. Alright, no vision. What do we got for heat? Uh, yeah, we're going to just keep firing the LRM-10s in. Man, we are... We are not looking good. That's for sure. We are not looking good at all. At least he's kind of rocking. If we can pop this arm, we can start getting into stuff. Uh, he's used his focus, so I guess we can... I've got to be careful he doesn't punch me, though. Because that would be pretty disturbing. 
Could probably reserve into him. See if he wants to push forward. See how things go. He could back up. Probably doesn't want to back up though. Uh, it's your turn, buddy. It's definitely your turn. Doesn't matter if we do this in phase three, two, or one. It's your turn. So please, sir, go. I love how he's clinging onto this hill. He's just jammed himself in there. Alright, hopefully he exposes some side here. Mm, he's got some cover. We're definitely going to swing around this way, swing around this way, and go for it if we survive. Woo! There goes some arms. There goes some bits. That shot did go internal, buddy. Uh, we got to be careful not to expose ourselves to a punch. He can't see us from here. Uh, we're definitely going to focus for this, I think, because this mech is pretty much garbage now. Come on, mech warriors. It's go see what we can get here. We need to do a lot of damage here. I mean, we do do about 60 damage, but I doubt most of that's going to go to the torso, unless we're super lucky. Ooh, 68. Bring you down, I guess. What are you looking like? Uh, you need to somewhat rotate like this uh, and pray to the RNG gods that uh, he does not decide to wail on you. We'll give him no vision here, so he has to move. Uh, like so. Hopefully, I mean, we need probably the hits to go anywhere but the torso for ourselves and we need our hits to go to his torso all right well we got one in so we are actually in kill range if we can get uh this guy on top of him he's probably got to focus i think we take the risk now and try and finish him at 80s uh because i don't think we're gonna make this in another round so we have to get pretty come on hit him in the torso baby no you had to miss all right four health that's uh it's one way to do it it's one way to do it he's gonna actually rotate this enough to probably if he fires on this he's probably got enough here i would go for maybe a punch or you could move here he's gonna focus he can only see this uh, hopefully the LRMs at this range don't do anything. Hopefully he overheats and explodes. That would be hilarious. He has to be really careful now that he's only got um, he's only got less than four on the torso. He's gonna rotate. He's gonna go. Yes, he is going for a punch. Ooh, here we go. Woo! Center torso. Alrighty, maybe we can do this, maybe we can't, let's go. It's all side shots here, that's the only problem. It's the only massive problem. He's going to get to go first. We're going to lose probably our lasers here. I think we just have to risk it right now. Can we get in with the small laser as well? Uh, how close can we get? Oof, here we go, here we go. Do you talk? Like, Flimmin' playing, bro. We're not gonna do this. Ugh, fire anyway! Come on, baby. Come on. Absolutely not getting there. It's gonna be his start. He just needs one hit. Maybe even a punch. Could do it. If he punches from this side, he'd probably win. I'd probably come in too close, actually. Uh, he's probably gonna punch me. In the side. And win. Maybe I should have rotated. Maybe I should have rotated. Rotational. Alright. Is he going for the punch or is he going for the shot? Ooh. 
I don't have a focus here. Uh, come on, baby. No, so close. Absolutely so close. I can't believe it. Four health. Woo. What a game. Look at that. I can't believe. Let's have a look at our commando. Yeah. I really needed him not to punch me there. Should have seen that coming. What did he have for his pilots here? Wildfire and his Centurion. Did he have... Alright, he had no... Um, paradise. Fair enough. Ozone. I mean, it was such a hassle to get some of this stuff. I actually thought he was going to just plow me over. Can't believe we brought that back to full health. Not bad at all. That's a real shame. Maybe I should have backed up and braced. And then I could have probably have tanked through whatever he fired at me. Would have probably have been the better option. I don't think you can... I can't remember if you can hit... I don't think you can hit the center torso from the side. If there's stuff in the way. Huh? It's a good game. Good game indeed. And with that, we'll take a break. Tune in next time. More adventures of Battletech. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. Or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.